I might leave it and go in another way, actually. Because there's a cold biome there. So to be fair, what I could do... Grab these resources. And just come across like this. Well, it's going to be in one of them, surely. Oh, there are... Uh, Spawns in slime biome. Oh, well, what, what does that do? This panics me. Is that bad? No, okay. It means water. Which means life. Okay. I'll be honest. You could be totally lying to me. <laughs> I have no idea. So we've got a little bit of water in there that we could actually bring into here as well. Which is interesting. Right, so let's go... Probably got 20 more minutes on stream, party people. So to go... Pause. One, two, three, four. But then I deconstruct that. Build it one lower and then get the lamp in there. So I'm... Deconstruct that. Luckily, we've got lots of food. We're about halfway, which is obviously cool, calm. Lots of slime. Brilliant. So if I go F19, is that giving us... How is, like, bacteria in the base? Look how clean I am. Amazing. One of these surely has one. Like, you can't get this. Is this unlucky, or is this... Or is this how it is normally, looking for one of those? Like, I was hoping like, I'd have one like right next to me. But easy peasy. The map is just large. Alright, then over here I go tile, furniture, lamp. Or perfect. And then a door there. For spaced out, they shrank the map to quarter. Okay. So is space out more of a, like, keep moving sort of situation, or? Or is it just, like, how does the moving to other maps work, or does it just act like different bases? Like you just have a number of different bases, or? Or is it you just have a small? Oh, how are we doing over here? I didn't even check over here. Well, for Spaced Out, no one planoid has every resource, so you have to have bases on each. Is transporting resources back and forward, is that a pain in the bum, or is it easy? Big pain. I have no idea how I'm going to do this pipe system. I probably should have thought about it a little bit more. I really like a lot of the stuff Spaced Out added, including the extra planoids, but I miss the simplicity of the default game's rocketry. Okay. Yeah, I should be able to just run the pipe along it, right? I mean, at some point I'm going to have to set the plunge and try it. 
I'll at least have water up here that I can bring into here if, like, something goes tragically wrong, but should be okay. I'll pump. I, well, actually, I could get the pump and just do one system, get that one system to work, and then move from there is probably the safer way to do it. Rocket Dream Spaced Out is, like, 15 times more complex than base game. I think what I find complicated about this game is just knowing what to prioritize. Do you know what I mean? Like some games, for example, and I use RimWorld a lot because obviously I played it, you know what the win conditions are. So you're always pushing towards them. Where this game, I think it's more of a you need to die to know where you went wrong. So, for example, if I randomly died now, I would be like, oh, damn, what went wrong? And then I'd be able to adjust to it. Do you see what I'm saying? That's only some reasons why I'm not being negative, but when I say, oh, I want to try this and stuff like this, because otherwise it's just smooth sailing and then you never truly understand the game. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's why, like, I'm t I want to try my own thing over here because then if I die because of that, I'll know. You know, dying's fine, but I feel like that's the way I'm going to then learn what to do differently next time. Oh my god, I'm not going to find one of these, am I? Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of putting it, more being creative. But I think when you're not, when you come into this game very fresh, like being creative, you, you have to understand how that game wants you to be creative. Do you know what I mean? Like, because different games, you can be creative in different ways. I can also see why it turns a lot of people off. It has some mid-late game hurdles that can kill your colony and lose you hundreds of hours. Yeah, and that's why a lot of the time it's not me being rude, but that's why a lot of the time when you guys say, oh, do this, I'm always asking why. Because if I don't understand the why, then I don't understand the repercussions of not doing it. And I don't want to just go through the motions, otherwise I don't... So, for example, um, the carbon skimmer. Now I understand, I understand what it does, and then I can appreciate it. Where if I don't appreciate it, then I'm just not going to bother. And in some situations, you've sealed your own fate, like, dozens of cycles beforehand, but you don't realise it until it's too late because you don't know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I feel like that's a... What was that noise? That always makes me jump when it does that blueprint. But that's a great way to learn. Oh my god, none. You having a laugh? You having a laugh? Um, okay. Did I just pick up a... I have no idea what I picked up. A Geo... I ain't got no geo anything. Receipt. Where's the caps on? Like, when you made the game, did the planner have the... Oh, don't say I've got a... Pl no, but I must have, because I've got a... Is there any way to check? I just picked, like, the standard. It's just the number of geysers. Oh, don't say I don't have it. That's fine. That'd be fun to work out how to try and do it without it. Check in galaxy view. Uh, how do I do galaxy view? Has fewer spawns, but you still get the guaranteed ones. Zed. 
Um, sorry. Is that the cool steam vent? That is terrible, Tazasco. People are trying to look. Oh, you're just unlucky. Water geyser is a huge win. Water geysers are amazing. And they're rare. So I'm just getting unlucky. Oh yeah, look, it just said. I keep clicking off. Yeah, 10 unknown geysers. No, that's a good thing. Water geysers are good. Okay. I'm going to click on Water Geyser. So, do they, are these, would these always be in the cold biomes then? So it's not a case I'm like looking in the wrong biome or anything. Right, have I got any wires coming up here? So, wire up here. Into that. I forget where they spawn. All I remember is in Spaced Out, they're guaranteed one on a water planet. But getting one on your home planet is rare. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Are they going to be... What's that biome? Oh, it's just uranium. Okay. Oh, I see a geyser. Do you? Down in the slime biome. What, here? Or did you think it was the fish? Did the fish trick you? Turn off the temp overlay. Even lower than this. There's another slime biome. What, this bit here? To the left a bit. Zoom out. Slight down and left. What's... How much more? I feel like you're doing this um, to wind me up. <laughs> Left. Now hit F3. Center of my screen. What, that? It's buried. Oh, it's behind that, is it? Oh, I didn't even know. That's... Clever. I didn't even realize the game would do stuff like that. Only spawns on the edges of the map or under geysers. Oh. So what do I, do I want to do anything with that? Uh, to be fair, I've only got like eight odd minutes left and then I'm gonna cancel stream. Cancel stream, that sounded very aggressive. Pause, who's trapped? Why are you trapped? Cause cave up.
Ooh. Dig it out, find out what it is. Okay. I'm not saying I've lost it, but I've lost it. That's fine, I'll find it. Okay. Uh, what's the best way I'm gonna go? Oh, the water there is gonna ruin my life. I only dig out the two leftmost tiles. Okay. Since it's a geyser that can do a bad thing. Oh, okay. So it could not be the one that we want. So two to the left. So like there. Yeah. What would be like worst case scenario behind this then? Like, what would be, like, the one where we'd be like, oh, poo, oh, poo, oh, poo? Well, do it to the geyser. Well, do it to the geyser and not the... Huh? Yeah, but I've got to come here to stand, right? I suppose. I did it there to stand, not to dig out. Unless I need to dig that bit of slime. Go into the side of the, above the... What's it going? Why go below? Because I never played this game before and I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm trying to avoid the water. Don't avoid the water. Water's fine. I was saying the water wasn't fine. I was just trying to avoid the water. You said two to the left of there. Of this. You said two to the left of it. Yeah, but if you said two to the left, so I thought dig here. So now I'm... Like, dig... Okay, I understand now. Fimble reed seeds. The Neurotronum plant that next to the toilet. Dig out the two tiles above the left. So dig here. Because a minute ago down here was fine. So I, I'm digging here. Because above... What, this? Remember, I have no idea what you're talking about when you use big words. So, yep, yeah, you can be, you keep you keep saying that like I have any idea what that means. That means there's a steam geyser above it. So dig there. So we've been through a journey here. We went through the left and. Here. Both of them? If you say no, I'm just doing it. I'm just going rogue. Okay.
Well, we're coming down. We're doing this live. Oh, no, don't run away. Well, you want to dig two tiles above the left. So, when I find stuff like this, this is how I always dig to discover what's inside. Okay. Can my colonists stop running off? I want to see what's in it. It's getting very anticlimactic. Go on, rub them. Come back in an hour. What's in the blueprints? Oh, bristleberry. Oh, no, they're not the seeds, though, are they? Damn. If they were the seeds, I would have taken them because we want them. Uh, decorating, no. Supplying and ranching, no. You only want to see what's in it because it could be like a volcano. Yeah, that's fine. It's just obviously I don't know how much or where to dig. I didn't. I, I assumed this whole section was it. So I assumed this was hiding behind this whole section. I didn't realise it was just them bits there, if that makes sense. Like, if you go to the... Oh! I... I understand. I understand. Yes, 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 I understand. So that's always the bottom. So I'm mining them them two bits there just to see what it is. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Thank you. No, that, that actually explains it perfectly. Thank you. But it won't release the guys. Okay, sorry. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. Sorry, it wasn't me being funny. It was just... Until you obviously picture it, it's hard to picture what you're trying to do. So it can be a volcano. That's crazy. Yeah, no, it's hard when you're writing it and whatnot. So I don't mean to come across as like... Um, but yeah, I can appreciate when you're writing it. It's hard to obviously think, but I do appreciate the help. Oh, come on. I want to see what it is. We're probably going to see what it is, and then I'm probably going to be ending stream. So let's hope it's something good. We deserve something good. Because then we'll end it now, and then I can then look at how I can do stuff with it. And then next time round, then hopefully I can use it. And if it's a volcano, then it's going to be funny. So volcanoes are not a big, big thing. A volcano would spore, spawn a hundred, sorry, a thousand, a thousand eight hundred magma, which cools. But if you're not prepared for it, it can overheat your colony, which can make dupes unhappy and can kill plants. Oh, that's crazy. I love this game. I love this game more than I've ever enjoyed a game. And then fish coming to get me. Well, then fish coming to get me. That looked very aggressive. No. Mm. All geysers are infinite, so it would just spew out heat until I tamed it or you die. Oh, jeez. So how would that... So when I look at the temperature... Just so I can get a gauge of how that would work then. So, that's the best way to explain it. So, Volcano, the heat it would give off there, it wouldn't matter where I was on this map, I would be in trouble. It's that hot. Because that's crazy. It would spread. Oh, so the magma would just keep spreading through the map. Oh. Oh, jeez, you're literally on a ticking time bomb. I love that, but hate that at the same time. Okay. Oh, whoops. I wondered why they weren't digging up. K. 
Can build insulated tiles to seal off heat. Okay. Right. Do we want bats? What do we think is going to be behind it then? The colonists are coming. What do we reckon? Put your bets. What do you think is going to be behind? Could be another natural gas. I'm going to go positive. It's what he, it's going to be exactly what we want. That's what I'm guessing. Polluted water. Alright. Number one's gone. Number two is gone. That's what we want, right? <laughs> nice. That is awesome. A little water geyser. No, I have to admit, that is a great lesson to be able to find these. Infinite water. How is that going to work over here, though? Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter, because we can just pipe everything, doesn't it? Water guys is average between... Okay. Cool. So would it be basically like making a what dig out a reserve under it? Okay. And then I would just pipe that around the base. Well, we'll talk about it in the Discord. I think that is a perfect place to leave it. That is a really good find. Turn off. Oh, okay, okay. So we do have to store a lot. That's fine, that's fine. That's not too bad. Right, thank you as always, chat. I think that is a very good bombshell. What I'll do is I will look at builds and stuff like that in case there's anything funky dunky. Yes, you don't get unlimited volume, but it, but it runs forever. Cool. That's absolutely fine. I think that's a really good find. But I'll post in the Discord and whatnot what I'll do with it. Because I feel like we need to jump on that quite, like, immediately, even at its lowest. I assume when I dig this all away, I'll find out what degree it is. Oh, that's awesome. We needed luck, because to be fair, look how much we dug out, or where we went to today. Unless there's a chance I missed another one, but I don't think so. Sixty plus that's a lot. No, I think we've done well. I'm having another I'm having another look now. I don't think I mm, think I'd remember soon that. No, I wouldn't. I'm useless. There's another one there. So that's another one as well, yeah? What I'm going to do is put the... Put a floor over towards it just so I remember. Because otherwise I'm going to come back. That light is likely a salt water. Okay. Salt water. Okay, is there any more while I'm here? There's a cheat to see what it is. Uh, as long as it's not like... Well, I thought that was another one then. What's the cheat? As long as it's not like... It's not an actual cheat, it's a bug. How buggy? No, I think that's it. That's a good find. I'm glad we found that towards the end. 
if you set its priority. Hmm, do we feel like that's too buggy? Like, what do you reckon? And you mouse over it. Mm, do you want me to do that? I don't know if I... F I like the idea that I could accidentally mine into a volcano one time, though. <laughs> I feel like that would be hella hilarious. So I might not, I might not. Because cause I, I, fe I feel like... I could just accidentally mine into a volcano and I feel like that would be absolutely hilarious, I think. But good to know, good to know, thank you. If we do, like, a really sweaty run one time, then maybe then we'll do that that time. But great find. Thank you. Ve oh, I was, oh, there we go. Great find. Or... Yeah, I, I try and, like... Normally, like, especially, like, when I do, like, RimWorld series, I always, like, go into a series with, like, a set of rules of, like, what I'm going to do. But, yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, evening, whatever you're doing. I can't believe we've had our water, guys. Are. And I will catch you next time. Oh, then the next streams will be on Monday. I'm not going to be streaming on the weekends. So have a good one, and I'll catch you later. Bye. Come on, get him.